Well, there's something in the air and it's alive. <laughs> nothing, nothing scary. Just maybe the most annoying pest in the inland northwest. Yes, that's what that was supposed to rhyme. <laughs> New at six, Matt Gray has us covered on this year's aphid swarm. Yeah, you guys can blame me for the scripting, all right? If you have certain trees in your neighborhood, you might be seeing something like this right now. Even if you don't, you're probably seeing this. A swarm of fuzzy and incredibly annoying little creatures. You head down the wrong street when you're walking the dog and you'll have a mouthful of these critters for your trouble. They're woolly ash aphids and they show up around this time every year. They spend the summer sucking the sap out of fir trees and then fly over to the ash trees in the fall to reproduce and annoy us before winter comes along. So here on the screen you can see some examples of each of these trees where these aphids like to hang out. According to Washington State University, these aphids leave behind honeydew as they suck out the sap. Now this can attract ants and other creatures and can grow some unsightly black mold. It's ugly, but they're not a major threat to the health of your trees, despite all the activity that you're seeing from them. WSU doesn't recommend any pesticides for this. Instead, they say to prune infested branches if you have ash trees or spray those aphids off with a water hose on high pressure, of course. Once we start to get freezing weather, these pesky bubs, they're going to die off. But this year, well, as you know, cold temperatures have never seemed so far away. Our average first freeze in Spokane is early October. We are nowhere close to that. And there are a lot of communities, including Spokane, that haven't even gotten down to the 30s at night yet this season. As Chris showed you, it looks like that might change. But for now, we're waiting. In Spokane, usually by mid-September, we've seen some 30s around town. So we've got perfect aphid weather. And at least as far as average or above average temperatures, no major cool off in sight in the near-term forecast. We'll see how things progress the weekend after this coming one. Now, so those for, for now, I guess, those fuzzy bugs, they're not going anywhere. And I tell you, taking a walk out in the evening, I'm keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> oh, I could say so many things. Thank you, Matt. <laughs>